favor, déjenos saber. Okay. So I'm trying to go to the next thing. There we go. So, and Carolyn, if you want to say anything more than that, please do that now. Um, if not, I'm done. You're done. Okay. Bueno. Okay. So, resourceful information is what we're talking about today. And the information are coming to us and being able to put this together so that you can have them right away. Debbie, you let me know when to stop, you know, so I, wear, I don't keep talking, okay? You got it. Um, el tema de esta noche es información para las familias ingeniosa. So at Blackstone, there's two people that you want to know in case of services or that resources that you need. Daniela Gonzalez and Maria De Silver are the two ladies there. They're the liaison for the families for you to be able to contact them to get services. Ah, ok. Las personas de contacto aquí en Blackstone Academy um, que ayudan a los papás para recibir servicios adicionales son Daniela González y María de Selva. Ellos son dos personas que ustedes deben de um, conocer durante su tiempo aquí en la escuela. So Daniela focus more on COVID-related services. So if you've been affected a lot in regards to COVID, she will be the direct person you will call. Daniela Gonzalez, ella tiene más que ver con uh, las familias que han tenido um, dificultades por COVID, por el virus de COVID. And Maria is in general. So you'll give her a call. If it's not related to COVID, you give Maria a call. The both can be you can call the office at the school and the office make sure to get the message to them and they'll get back to you. Y Maria también, ella es lo, la persona que ayuda con los servicios más generales. Si usted necesita hablar con Maria, con Daniela, usted puede llamar a la oficina central y ellos los ponen en contacto con Maria o Daniela. So, as I stated, the both of them are there directly, one-on-one. -on -one. Whatever you discuss with them is not going to be broadcasted at Blackstone Academy. This is your private time with them for them to be able to support you in the needs that you that is needed for you and your family. Um, tanto María como Daniela pueden dirigirlos a los servicios. Uh, si Blackstone no puede ayudarlo directamente, si usted decide contactar a cualquiera de ellas dos, eh, esa conversación se queda entre usted y María o Daniela. No es algo que compartimos con toda la comunidad. So let's get into the services. This emergency rental assistance, ERA, is what is called the program. That I just got this information, I think last week, Kylene, the head of school, sent that out. The student support, they sent it to me and a perfect timing to be able to have this meeting with you all to be able to say, if that's something is an issue at this time, this program, depending if you're qualified, they're gonna ask some questions. Muy bien. Um, esto, esta parte de la presentación se refiere al programa de asistencia de emergencia para el alquilar que se llama ERA. Usted puede um, um, llenar una aplicación y dependiendo de los requisitos, um, ellos le pueden ayudar con la renta o otros servicios públicos. And the assistance being provided is not only for COVID-related issues. Y la asistencia um, que, se, que le dan no tiene que ser relacionado con el virus de COVID. Puede ser también otras cosas. 
So when we do send you, send the link out after this, you can click on it and it will take you directly to the site for you to be able to start the process. Entonces, cuando compartamos esta presentación, usted puede um, hacerle clic al enlace en, este, uh, en esta presentación y así la llevan directamente a la página de internet. And this email address and this phone number is directly for the coordinator that is overseeing this program. So this is this person's information right here. El correo electrónico que está abajo, K West, y el número son los números directamente para contactar a la persona coordinadora de este programa. Si usted tiene alguna pregunta, usted puede mandarle su correo o llamarlos por el, el teléfono. And this link right here will ask the questions that is needed, and you can let them know in those questions what is your need, and that's how they figure out what they will provide or not provide, depending if you need the criteria for the assistance. Y el enlace www.rentrelieffri.com es el sitio donde le van a hacer las preguntas. Así ellos pueden verificar si usted califica para la ayuda que ellos le dan para um, la renta o otros servicios. And what was exciting when I was looking at this is applications are open. That's important because sometimes you get these information and the application is either going to be closed in two days by the time you got it, but this one just opened. So there's still this time to be able to apply and see if you qualify for rental help. I think this is both for your rental and if I'm not mistaken, mortgage is part of that too as well. Ok, y lo bueno de, esta, de este programa es que ahora está recibiendo aplicaciones. Uh, la mayoría de veces cuando la gente recibe información de programas, unas veces las aplicaciones están ya para cerrar. Este programa está aceptando aplicaciones y ellos ayudan uh, para la renta o también para un pago de mortgage de la casa. Okay. So the next one we want to talk about is who assistance. Now I know at one point in time at Blackstone, we were doing before COVID on a Wednesday morning, um, there was a food, um, what is, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, assistant there where Maria was over there with another agency that brought food and families were able to pick up packages uh, for whatever needs is needed. So that's something I know that Blackstone does in-house. Um, antes de que llegara la pandemia, Blackstone trabajaba con otra organización para proveer asistencia alimentaria a las familias. Y esto pasaba cada miércoles. María era la que lo dirigía. Entonces eso era en The Blackstone Academy. So with COVID, you can't really do all the stuff. So I'm sure that's going to come back. But for in the meantime, for food assistance, the Rhode Island Community Food Bank has a listing of all the towns, all the different um, churches or local food banks in the community that is available. A lot of them have stacked up because due to COVID, they needed to have more food. So a lot of them have just restocked. So there's enough opportunity and enough places to go to find. And this, when you click on this link, it takes you directly to all those listings. Instead of giving you 25 lists of links, we consolidate it and make it one link that you can just click on and it will give you the rest of the information. Ahora, ya después de la pandemia, Um, muchas organizaciones están ayudando um, a las familias con asistencia alimentaria. Por ejemplo, um, el Banco de Comida de Rhode Island también está en esa lista. Aquí en esta parte de la presentación les creamos una lista de lugares donde les dan asistencia alimentaria y esto va a ser, está dividido por ciudad. 
Um, entonces, al final, cuando ustedes reciban esta presentación, por favor, háganle clic a este enlace. Así pueden ustedes ver eh, los lugares que proveen la asistencia alimentaria. And it, I mean, what would happen is if there's any questions you have in the, you know, as we're talking about different topics, please let us know. We'll pause and engage those, those questions. Y si tienen alguna pregunta durante esa uh, presentación, por favor, no duden en eh, preguntarla. Así podemos uh, darle respuestas a sus preguntas. So the next thing we're going to be touching base on is mental health. And this was one thing that I know Kylene had mentioned to me saying that needs to be in there. And so it was great to be able to get these different links to put in here so you can be able to touch on because mental health is one of those things. It's like the elephant in the room. People don't want to touch on it, mention it. It's almost as if no, it's there, but we're not, we're going to pretend it's not there. But at this time, with all that is happening, we definitely want to be able to either engage this if it's not for ourselves, for a loved one, for our kids, for our co workers. Just having the information is a great resource. Esta parte de la presentación tiene que ver con la salud mental o psíquica. Um, y Kailin, la directora, pensó que es una buen, uh, buena información para proveer para las familias, ya que unas veces es un tema que no se habla regularmente entre familias o con otra gente. Entonces aquí estos enlaces prueben mucha información para poder ayudarles, ya que sea ustedes o, o familiares de ustedes. Again, each of these links, when you do receive the overall package of this, you click on it and it will take you directly to the site. This is behavior health link. And this is in East Providence. Entonces, cada uno de estos en, enlaces tiene um, información a ciertas organizaciones que tienen que ver con la salud mental. Por ejemplo, el primero es de salud conductal um, y esta oficina está localizada en East Providence. And they have a 24-hour hotline number you can call. Y ellos tienen un número 24 horas que ustedes pueden llamar a cualquier hora. And the same with Providence Center and this particular link, Get Help, is where you can make a referral for yourself or for somebody else. The other links are more for a practitioner or your doctor to make a referral, but this one gives you, you, the person, the opportunity to call directly and have someone you can talk with on the, on the hotline number. So this, This particular link takes you directly to that information. El segundo enlace llamado Providence Center Get Help es la donde le proveemos información para que usted pueda llamar directamente y pueda hablar con alguien. Así ellos la ayudan. Um, los otros dos enlaces son para poder recibir información y poder recibir um, que lo guíen a un doctor o a alguien para recibir ayuda, pero el segundo enlace, usted puede hablar directamente con alguien. And Mental Health Association of Rhode Island covers the whole state. So you get a lot of information that is pertaining to your cities, your towns, um, but it's for the whole state. So this is even more detailed information because sometimes some of these other agencies focus on specific cities and once they start to get out of cities they start charging a little bit you know here and there but this one i love it because it gives you a whole overview of the state of Rhode Island the different areas and the different services that is provided el tercer enlace titulado mental health association of Rhode Island el que está en amarillo o anaranjado um, ellos le da información a todos 
uh, los sitios que le pueden ayudar con la salud psíquica y uh, porque los dos de arriba tienen que ver con ciertas ciudades, pero el tercer enlace le da más información. Any questions so far? If any, please unmute yourself or type it in the chat. So that alguna, way we can engage if there's a question. Si tiene algunas preguntas, por favor, no duden en preguntarla. Pueden uh, decirlo en el micrófono o pueden decirlo en el chateo también. Okay. So. At Blackstone, we do have a mental health support team. They're called student support, but they also support the family. In Blackstone, así en casa, por decir, también tenemos un a grupo que uh, provee ayuda a la salud uh, mental de los alumnos y también de los trabajadores ahí, y es un equipo. Because your students are not at Blackstone by themselves, they have families. So if something is affecting the student, it's going to affect the whole family. So as team members of Blackstone support team, they do meet with the families as well. So if there's something you feel like you want to share with the support team that is working with your student, please do so. They're professional and they've been there and doing some wonderful job. So I, I guess I'm letting you know about them if you don't know, so you can take a, a um, advantage of that support as well. That is not just for the students, it's a collaboration with the students and their families. Um, este uh, ayuda para, para los estudiantes también llega a ayudar a las familias, ya que nosotros sabemos que um, algo, los asuntos de los estudiantes tienen que incluir a los familiares. Entonces, toda la gente aquí que está en esta lista trabaja directamente con los estudiantes y también con ustedes como papás. Uh, Alicia, we do have a question in the group chat. It says, how can someone schedule an appointment with Dr. Bowen? La pregunta... Gracias, María. Es como puede alguien programar una cita con el Dr. Bowen. So, if your student is, you feel you need to talk with Dr. Bowen in regards to your student, you call the school and set up an appointment that way. So, you call and ask to speak with him in regards to your student. Does that make sense? Um. Felicia, I think Dr. Bowen's email is in here. Um, one thing that we usually do for referrals, um, if it's depending on what the situation is, um, I just want to let people know that um, the counselors, Erica, uh, Beth, and uh, Gilbert are all assigned to a specific grade to oversee. So, um, and... Um, I'll try to get it straight. Uh, who uh, I want to say Beth is um, ninth grade this year, and uh, Erica's tenth grade this year, and Gil is eleventh. Kylie, do I have that? I think I have that straight. And um, so, one starting point could be with the grade level counselor. Um, if the student is either um, on a uh, an IEP and has some needs that you have doc needs for Dr. Bowen for evaluation or something like that. Starting with Glenda, our special ed director is also a place or their case manager. Um, and because Dr. Bowen's not full time at the school, and so I'm talking about like all the different ways we might get to him. We'll see other folks are there all the time. So. Right. Um, yeah, so we'll start there. And also, um, Kyleen and I are um, available anytime, too, if you're just trying to figure out. Uh, your mic just went dead, Carolyn. Can you guys hear her, or is it just me? No, I went it muted. 
they went silent. Okay, so as as if if that answer your question, Maria, there's a lot of different avenues, different people. There's Erica, there's Elizabeth, there's Gilbert Rodriguez, because they see the student more often. So your first contact, like Carolyn was saying, will be them because they are in it with the students on a daily basis. And he comes in, if I'm not mistaken, as she was saying in regards to um, a IEP per se in that, in that. Uh, well, part of what he does is evaluation for different things, not just IEP, but he's kind of, his schedule is typically on an as needed, um, but we can, right, we can help get that started depending on what the situation is. Okay. So there's, you have Erica, whose email address is here. You have Elizabeth, you have Gilbert. If you email one of them, they'll get you to the right person that fits the grade level that you're looking for. But it just, I just wanted you to know that we do have, there's a team at Blackstone that is working diligently to make sure to the best of their abilities and to their you know, profession to be able to support students along with their family if this is a, things that needs to be dealt with. I'm sorry about that, Debbie, good luck. <laughs> uh, thank you so much. <laughs> um... <laughs> Básicamente, um, ¿cómo alguien puede programar una cita con el Dr. Bowen? Usted tiene varias avenidas para, para pedir una cita. Por ejemplo, aquí eh, Erica, Elizabeth y Gilbert son diferentes trabajadores um, o consejeros que le pueden, que usted se puede reunir. Cada, eh, cada uno de ellos tiene cierto grado que ellos uh, trabajan con así uh, para poder a, a darle soporte y uh, dependiendo si usted habla con uno de ellos, ellos le refieren al doctor Matthew Bowen uh, y también las directoras están ahí para ayudarle dependiendo, todo depende del caso de, del estudiante o de la familia uh, pero eh, usted va a recibir la ayuda que usted necesita. Solo se tiene que combinar, comunicar con alguno de estos trabajadores sociales o consejeros. Así ellos le dan la, la dirección adecuada para poder recibir la ayuda que ustedes necesitan. Great job. That was excellent. Oh, thank you. <laughs> okay, so moving along. Now, you may feel like well, okay, Felicia, you know, COVID's hit. I'm interested in trying some new things. Again, resources, it's always good to know where you can go for information. Uh, SCORE is an opportunity. If you have considered for just slightly thought about, you know what, I have a business idea. Let me just tease it out share with someone and see where that goes, this will be the place to go. Otra información en esta presentación es, um, ya que la pandemia está, está aquí, um, uh, tal vez usted tiene una idea para algún negocio, alguna empresa, esta página o este programa llamado SCORE um, le ayuda para... Uh, con tutoría y educación para poder crear su negocio o poner su empresa. Eh, y ahí está el enlace también para poder ir a la página y recibir ayuda. So you, okay. You may think, Felicia, why are you bringing this up? Sometimes in the midst of crisis, you have some great ideas. Let's use the opportunity to get this uh, resource. It's free. You don't have to pay for it. I actually went through it when I was doing my event planning and catering business. It was free. I met with someone that actually was in the business for 25 years 
and all the resources that she had over that 25 years of period, I was able to sit with her and get all that information, the bad, the good, the ugly, the in between. And it was one of the best, best. I, I didn't pay for it. So I would say a million dollars, you know, resource that I got with for zero, for, you know, no cost to me whatsoever. All I had to do was just make time and she would sit with me and walk me through the whole process. It was truly a blessing. If that's where you're at, if that's something you're thinking, or you already do have a business and you're figuring how to get it to the next level, they do that as well too. Ustedes tan, tal vez pueden preguntarse, oh Felicia, ¿por qué ya tú estás recomendando que nosotros iniciamos un negocio? Unas veces cuando hay muchas dificultades, como en esta pandemia, um, o ciertas circunstancias que son difíciles, tal vez hay, usted tiene una buena idea y quiere seguir ese, ese camino. Um, ella, por ejemplo, usó este programa, el programa de SCORE, y ella se reunió con la gente de ahí. Ellos le dieron mucha información uh, para poder crear su uh, negocio de comida y ella dice que todo fue gratis, le ayudaron bastante en crear su plan, en poder eh, ver cómo iba, cómo le iba a ir en su negocio. Entonces ella recomienda que si usted tiene un negocio, que si está pensando un negocio o tal vez en el futuro tiene esto como una meta, usted puede uh, recorrer a este programa SCORE para que ellos le puedan dar información y ayudarles a completar sus metas. So, if you have some great ideas and just wants to get it out there and see where it goes, this will be a great opportunity. And one of the great thing is they have all different languages eat too. So you can meet with someone that speaks your language and you don't have to wait for a translator and of those things. They really have done a great job to make sure they meet the needs of every one that is interested in this opportunity. Y algo muy bueno de este programa es que si usted tiene una idea, alguna idea pequeña, usted se puede reunir con ellos para recibir más información de cómo poner ese negocio. Además, algo muy bueno de este programa es que ellos se reúnen con usted en el idioma que usted habla. Usted no tiene que esperar para que alguien le traduzca con otra persona, sino que usted puede recibir esta educación de expertos uh, directamente. Usted puede hacer sus preguntas y ellos le ayudan. So, I'm a, I like taking risks. So, <laughs> I thought to share this, I think it was such a great resource. Um, like I mentioned, for my business, it's been one of a great, great resource to go to. The information is there online, it's in different languages, and it's just free for you. A ella le gusta tomar muchos riesgos y eh, ella cuando puso este negocio, a ella le gustó mucho como ellos le ayudaron y le condujeron esta ayuda. Entonces ella recomienda, si usted tiene esa idea, esa uh, idea de comenzar un negocio, por favor vayan y trabajen con esta con ese programa de score así ellos le pueden ayudar. Okay. Uh, any questions so far? Any comments? We'll take comments too. Okay. So we we'll keep moving. I'm watching the time. Um. So now I also like to relax, and I think it's important for my families to relax. I real, this is one of the fun way I've had the opportunity just to relax, whether it be 10 minutes, 15 minutes is a puzzle free fun. You can do different games. You can do it with your kids or you can just tell your kids, leave me alone. I need 20 minutes to just play a game and enjoy by myself. Así, um, también se les una lista de juegos 
o rompecabezas que son divertidos y gratis. Cada persona tiene que tomar tiempo para poder relajarse y, y poner su cerebro en pausa y hacer algo divertido. Entonces aquí le incluimos una lista de cosas que ustedes pueden hacer con su familia como una actividad o solitos cuando necesitan un tiempo consigo mismo. It is all online and it's free. Y todo está en línea y como nos gusta es gratis. You got jigsaw puzzle, you know, solitaire is my favorite. I, I think I'm the queen on that one. I, I think I'm winning there, that one. So I enjoy playing solitaire there. Um, but it's also just another way again that for me dealing with my mental uh, stresses that comes up is another way for me to just really de-stress. So I wanted to share this because I think sometimes for us as parents, we can just keep going, keep going, keep going, that we don't take the time just to take a moment and just relax. This won't cost you anything. The, the prints are so large. <laughs> I guess they figure we're all old, we need glasses. So the prints are really large, um, but it's also a fun thing to do. Y como padres es muy importante uno cuidarse de su uh, salud mental y psíquica. Entonces, uh, jugar unos juegos así, uh, rompecabezas, que son divertidos, uh, les puede ayudar con eso. También eh, los juegos son de letra grande. Entonces, así usted también los puede ver con más facilidad. Ok. So... That was it. I really, like I said, wanted to make sure that I honor your time and make sure it was worth your time too. Do you have any questions? What, where, who, how, when, why? This is your time. Post it. Let's bring it. And if no questions, we'll take comments too. Okay. Como queremos, um considerar mucho su tiempo, ¿verdad? Porque ustedes tienen su rutina y son uh, bastante, tienen mucho que hacer. Um, este es el momento para hacer alguna pregunta. Uh, lo pueden decir por, uh, por el chat o por aquí, por usando el micrófono. O si no, pueden también poner unos comentarios. Aquí estamos, aquí a la orden para poder ayudarlos. So I'm gonna pause, take a deep breath, and wait for a little bit to hear if anybody has anything to say before we close. Ella va a tomar una pausa para respirar un poco, um, para ver si ustedes tienen alguna pregunta antes que terminamos esta reunión. I just wanted to say thank you for your time and it was very informative. I'm glad that I took the time to zoom in with you guys. Thank you very much, Robert. That is appreciated. And that was the key as Debbie and I went through is like, okay, what's the benefit the parents coming? We just don't want, we love hanging out with people, but we do know your time is, you know, busy but it needs to be very uh, informative and beneficial to you by the time the hour is over. So thank you so much for sharing that. Okay, so while you're here, just give your information for our next uh, family engagement event. That's gonna be April 26th, so two weeks from today. 6.30 to 7.30 as well. Um, this is um, a company that is focused on technology. It's an opportunity to learn something new. Maybe you're thinking about a new career, or maybe you thought about hmm, technology being an option, or you're hearing about just new possibilities for someone else. Come check it out. Um, Arnell Milhouse, I've known him since we were 22, college, yep, 
and we're both in our late 40s. So for a long time, and this is something that he's very passionate about, giving people the opportunity to explore other options in their careers and learning more about technology. And Felicia, this is an alternative to college also for, or traditional college for students as well, right? Yes, yes, yes. So I'm gonna have Debbie say a little bit before and then I can talk about that other piece as well. Okay, para la próxima reunión que es el 26 de abril, um, que es en dos semanas, nosotros tenemos una academia titulada Career Dev, y esto es um, por si usted o algún familiar o alguien que usted conoce está interesado en conocer otra posibilidad para um, una carrera, um, el presentador se llama Arnel Milhouse, Felicia lo ha conocido de hace más de 15, 20 años. Es el fundador de la Academia Career Dev y es um, una buena manera para eh, saber más información de una carrera uh, virtual o digital, de tecnología. Entonces aquí le vamos a dar más información. Yes. I, I feel good when you make mistakes because I'm like, I'm struggling in English. How is she going to do this in Spanish? I love it. Oh, this is awesome. Thank you. <laughs> so, Thank you. But, <laughs> so this opportunity also, as Carolyn mentioned, could be a possible opportunity for your students that may not um, be ready to go to college off yet. This is something my son is going to do after graduation. He's going to do this program for a year because at this time he's, he has too many things that he wants to do and not focus on one thing. He does love technology like his father. So he figured, well, let me just do this for the year. And then after that year, we'll go from there. So this is something, even if it's not for you, but to consider it for your you know, your child, some of you may have older kids that in their 20s, 23 or whatever, already finished college and still trying to figure something out. This could also be a possibility as well, too. Entonces, um, esta es una buena posibilidad también para los estudiantes que están interesados en lo que es una carrera uh, de tecnología o cibernética. Uh, Entonces es, um, uh, vamos a tener mucha información para ustedes, para que ustedes tengan para usted o para sus hijos o para familiares de ustedes. We do have a few questions on the group chat, uh, Felicia. Okay. Um, Grace was asking, uh, I was trying to apply for the housing relief program, but I find it difficult to upload documents. What can I do? So if you want, Grace, I'd be more than happy to walk you through it and see maybe the documents needs to be either in a PDF file or another form to be able to upload it. So if, if that's something you would like, I'd be more than happy to do that with you. Does that answer your question? She said, okay. 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 Um, I can I can answer this a uh, uh, question about SAT um, for Maria. Um, if you guys have eleventh or twelfth grade students and you're on this call, um, well, the eleventh grade parents I hope all know that their students are taking SATs um, most of the day <laughs> uh, tomorrow and on. For some students, um, if they qualify for extended time, they're taking it Tuesday and Wednesday. Otherwise, students are going in either Tuesday and Wednesday. And on those days, both the 11th and 12th graders don't have any classes at all. Um, they will be back in class Thursday and Friday. And it, it's um, the 11th and 12th in-person week. So they will, uh, if they're coming in person, they'll be coming in person on Thursday and Friday right before our vacation week. Bien, 
una muy buena pregunta que María hizo es que los estudiantes del 11 grado van a tener uh, los exámenes estatales de SAT mañana, miércoles y jueves. Eh, ella está preguntando si los estudiantes van a tener clases viernes y jueves y viernes y si los estudiantes van a recibir clases regulares los, el jueves y el viernes. Any other questions? Felicia, I just put your email in um, because I think Grace was looking for it for your contact info. Okay, great. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, excellent. Okay, if 726, thank you. I found a picture that had it all in different languages. Thank you. Messi, gracias. Donkey, is that how you say that? I don't know. Donkey, how you say that? <laughs> I don't know how Danka. to say that. Danka. Oh, Danka. Okay, you see, I was cursing there. Some, in some Merci. Obrigado. <laughs> Obrigado. <laughs> Yeah, so thank you so much for taking the time to spend with us tonight. Uh, it, it's great to hear that the information was informative. It was helpful. Um, that was great because we want to make sure our time together is not just stuff that is not meaningful to you because an hour is an hour that you just can't get back. It's done with. But if this hour is met with some great information that is beneficial to you and helps to move you along, then we did our job. So thank you so much for coming. Grateful. Let me see the chat finally. Um, uh, just the next month there will be starting a black so in September. Oh, the daughter's coming now. Wow, have the whole family. Yay. That's awesome. That is great. Um, link to the presentation. I will get that. Let me exit out of here. I um, shared it. Um, you did? Okay. Yes, I did. But I can reshare it again. Okay. Anything. And if I know how to get height, let me see. So, yo puse la, el enlace de la presentación aquí en el chateo por si ustedes quieren revisar ya más profundo todos los recursos que le hemos present, presentado. Um, es un placer estar con, con ustedes y conocerlos más. También puse la información de Felicia en el chat y también el mío por si tienen alguna pregunta en español. Yo también les puedo dirigir a la persona con quien, con quien hablar. And basically, I just said, Felicia, that I put your email, my email in the group chat. I put the link to the presentation there as well. They want to mm -hmm. reach out to you or me. We can help them out in any way. And it was a pleasure to, to see them all here and spend some time with the parents. We miss you guys. So. <laughs> Yes, great to see you. Uh, hi, Serena. Hi. I just hi. noticed the face. <laughs> How are oh, you? I'm okay. I'm okay. <laughs> okay, good to see you all. Uh, thank again, you. thank you so much for your time. It is definitely, um, it means a lot to us because we, we want to engage with the families to the best of our abilities, but we also want to make sure it's worth your time as well. So thank you so much. Thank Have you. Have a great night. We okay, hope bye. You all on the 26th, tell your friend, tell your neighbor, tell your colleagues, and even if they don't have friends at Blackstone Academy, tell them to come hang out with you. <laughs> but thank you so much, Maria. Bye. Gracias a todos. Bye bye. Thank you so much, Felicia and Deborah and everybody. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, oh, thank you so much, Debbie. Thanks for doing that.
I said it, but I didn't even make the connection. You do have to put in the chat. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Thank you. Have a good night, all. Thank you for coming again. Um, oh, Debbie, how do I get out of here? Um, so under, on the top screen, you can end sharing. It's at the top of the screen. Oh, or you have to end the recording as well. Yes, I just stopped the recording. Oh, okay, there we go. Stop sharing. That's all I had to do. My goodness. It still says recording on my end. Is it? I paused it on my end. Um, 